In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a video ad for your products using my favorite graphic design tool, Canva. You could essentially use the video as a regular post for Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, or turn them into Facebook or Instagram ads. Now, I created this video and it only took me a few minutes to complete and you could do videos like this using Canva free version. If you'd like to try Canva Pro to have features like the background remover or the feature for resizing for different platforms, make sure to use my referral link so you could try Canva Pro for 30 days for free. I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. So now let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so here we are on Canva. So the first thing you wanna do is click on video. And it's gonna give you these different layouts of different platforms because keep in mind that you're able to create videos not only on Facebook and Instagram, but you're also able to create videos on other different platforms. Let's say you wanna do a TikTok video, maybe you wanna do a Pinterest video, maybe you wanna do an Instagram videos. And what's nice about this is that they're already optimized for the size of that particular platform. So you don't have to worry about creating something and when you're ready to upload, whether you're uploading it as a regular post or uploading it to use as an ad that's gonna get cut off or it's gonna get rejected. So that's the nice thing about it. Now the size that I normally use for when I'm creating a post or I'm creating any type of ad is 1080 by 1080. And I like that because it will be perfect for both Facebook and also Instagram. But it really depends on the platform that you're using to promote. So if you're using, let's say Pinterest, it's not gonna be 1080 by 1080, it will be a different size. Now, by the end of this video, I'm also gonna be showing you how to resize whatever you create, whatever video you end up creating, how to resize it for any platform. So I'll show you that trick as well, which will save you a lot of time from having to create from scratch again for a different platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, and this is the size that we're gonna go with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a background. So if you go right here on your toolbar and you go to backgrounds, you're gonna have a lot of different options of backgrounds that you could choose from. Um, so you have landscape, you have patterns, you have gradients, you have textures, you have flowers, and much more. Um, I normally use a lot of gradients and I also use a lot of texture for a lot of my stuff. In this video, I'm gonna use this one here is almost like a marble. I actually like this one, it's a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use this marble background. And this is gonna be the background of my product. So I already uploaded my product. I'm using a picture that I took from Canva. Um, in order to have your product look like this and have that you know isolated product and not have like a background, um, you would need to have Canva Pro to remove the background. So just keep that in mind or use a different tool if you're using one as well. So the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and upload your images by clicking here and upload, and then you'll be able to grab and drag and drop right here. So this is the product that I'm selling. It's a bridal necklace set. So the next thing I'm gonna do is click on T for text, and I'm gonna type right on the top, bridal necklace set. And I'm gonna change this to a prettier font. So I'm gonna use this one for now. And this is pretty much gonna stay up here the whole time, I don't plan to move it. Maybe make this a little bit larger so it could be the focus point of my, my ad that I'm creating. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this a little bit smaller, the timing. And what I'm gonna do now is I click on T again, and I'm gonna put right here, um, well, I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this for now. So this is the first slide. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate page. You see how it added an additional page right here. In between, you could add a transition if you like. So you could use any of these here um, and that's how it would look or you could do like a slide. Um, you could choose the the direction of the slide as well, which is really cool. I'm gonna do the dissolve. You could play around with these as well. This is a pro one here, has a little star. So I'm gonna put that transition here. So I'll pick that one. And then here on this one, this is my second slide. This is where I'm gonna start adding the what comes included. So I'm gonna do T for text, 
And down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this font to something that will be easy to read, especially when somebody's looking at this. So I'm going to use this one here. It's easy to read. And I'm going to put necklace, measures 18 long. So I'm going to put that there and make sure that's not too long or too big. I'm going to go ahead and center it. And that's going to be one slide. So I think that looks good there. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this page. And here's my third page. Now my third page is the same one as this one because I just duplicated it. I'm going to go ahead and add a transition again. I'm going to use the same one across all of them. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and change this now and talk about the earrings. So earrings. about one okay so here i'm just adding the details of what they will be getting and that's what you would do with whatever product you sell obviously you know you could get as creative as you like so you could add details you could add the benefits that that, that your product solves um, for your uh, client client your target audience so I put that there. I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this again. And now this one, I'm going to talk about the ring size. So I'm going to just put we carry all ring, all types of, well, we carry all ring sizes. <laughs> Keep it simple. Okay. And the last slide is going to be the one that I'm going to put my call to action. So I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to say on sale for. So let's put um, grab now, right? Let's say, say grab, grab now for. Goodness, can type 50% off. And then I'm going to put here coupon code set three. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font for the second one so it could kind of stand out. And I think I'm going to do that one. Graph for 50% off with, with coupon code set three. And then I'll put this here. So now we have the whole ad, right? So the next thing that we need to do is figure out how many seconds do we want each ad to show up? Because as of right now, our complete ad is 15 seconds long, as you can see right here. So the first one, I would say you don't have to make it that long because it's just showcasing the product. Maybe you have your logo here or your URL. So for this one, I'm going to change the timing to 1.5 seconds. The second one, I'm going to do 2.0 because we are describing um, the necklace. So I want the person to be able to read that and not for the slide not to go too fast. The third one, I'm going to do 2.0 as well. I'm going to keep it kind of the same, the speed. The fourth one, I'm going to do 2.0 as well. And then the last one, because it does have the call to action, grab now, it has the coupon code. I'm going to keep that one at 3.0. So let's go ahead and change that one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at our ad. It went down from 15 seconds to 12 seconds, which is not too bad. And this is how it would look. So this is what people will see when you post it either on Facebook, Instagram, or use it as a Facebook or Instagram ad. And this will be the last page and it'll stay a little bit longer. Once you're happy with it, all you need to do is download and then you would, what you would do is download as an MP4 video. And this is what you would use for your posting or for your ad. This is how simple it is to create a video ad for your products. Make sure to check out these additional videos on the screen. And thanks for watching.